<laughs> Stupid Cupid, stop picking on me. Stupid I know you couldn't feel good something. <laughs> Good afternoon guys, we have made it to Tampa. We just drove from Jacksonville to Tampa and I did not vlog anything in Jacksonville because shit was weird. I guess let's talk about it. We flew in from Newark yesterday morning to Jacksonville. We landed at like 9.10 or something. We got here so fast. The flight was like, it was the smallest plane I've ever been on in my life. Two seats and it wasn't that many people, like my carry-on didn't fit in the overhead and I don't have a big carry-on I have like a normal size carry-on so we had to like shove it and shove it and then I had to zip the whole pocket so it flattened again it was so crazy so whatever and then we went to Jacksonville and when we got to Jacksonville we went to breakfast we went to this place that I just like randomly found on Yelp because I was like we're hungry it was so bad it was like not good at all so it was a really bad first impression of Jacksonville I was like oh fuck like I was just hungry I just wanted to eat something good moving on we went to the hotel we passed out for hours and after we woke up we were like oh obviously we need lunch now so we went to this really cute lunch place actually i got a salad um jordan got like a chicken sandwich or something and it was just like so it was so vibey i felt like i was in disney world because we sat outside and ate and this was like in a towny part of jacksonville but it wasn't like scary towny it was just like Townie. From there, I think we went back to the hotel, we got ready, and then we went to the venue. Jordan's working, I'm tagging along. You guys know my mom lives in Florida, so we're actually ending where she lives, so we're gonna have Florida vlogs. Some of you have been really into the vlogs, and some of you have not been into the vlogs, and I don't know if it's because the vlogs lately have been more chaotic and less like calming, but this is like a part of my life too, so I'm just trying to like share it all without, you know, being trapped in my four walls of my bedroom. So just let me know in the comments like what you like, what's up. Um, you guys have seen the vlogs of what Jordan does and what his performance is and how everything's very like simple and streamlined. We just have a good time and we vibe with the audience and it's like about the community. Last night somewhat like wasn't about the community. It was like a fight ish between Jordan who was supposed to perform the whole time and this like local act that has like kind of a residence in the venue we were playing for somewhat of the same situation we just kind of let them take the lead because it seemed like they weren't gonna take no for an answer and long story short it was just not what we expected we tried to have a good time and um that's all that really matters so and we're in tampa now and so far tampa looks sick it looks so cool there's a pool at this hotel um i don't think we're gonna be able to use it we're i don't know what time it is now i think it's about two o'clock tonight's show is actually very late it starts at 11 it's like club hours so we have a long ways to go i'm drinking matcha we went to wawa we did not stop once the whole it was like a three and a half hour car ride so hopefully tomorrow's drive going to palm beach will be a lot better i'm just excited i'm excited to be in like my second home i'm excited to be like ah at that sandy beach like i am just i'm over the moon and excitement and i really hope that you guys are too i've never been to the west coast of florida i've never seen this ocean the only closest ocean of this sort of gulf of mexico in little area i've seen is in cancun and tulum and that just makes me nostalgic for the summer and i'm in i'm ready to wear my bikini and have a good time hola so we are at the venue i'm in the green room um it's like above the stage so i'm not gonna be able to vlog like fully while i'm here but it seems like you guys don't really want that kind of anyway and i'm just gonna enjoy my time regardless what's it called we just moved the car to like a different spot it's um we're in a place called the orpheum and it's in like a little i guess it's a neighborhood called ebor y-b-o-r it's like a cute little towny situation it's not towny it's like it feels like nola well, super lively there's like mad people around so i feel like this show's gonna be really fun wearing a cute little simple outfit today got converse fishnets a baggy tee calling it a day and yesterday i wore a dress and it's fun and it's chill but on stage if i like want to rock out i 
can't so much because I, you know what I mean? This stage is a lot higher too, so if I do end up going on stage, which I usually do to throw balloons. Oh shit, we didn't blow up balloons yet. All right, so then I continue to blow up balloons and let's play a little game of how many band stickers can you notice on the wall. Have Mercy was here, which I thought was sick. Real Friends were here. There were so many cool bands that played at this venue, so it's so awesome that Jordan was able to share a stage with them. And do I say so myself, I shared a stage with them because I did help with balloons at one point during the show and I got on stage and I was dancing and honestly the show ended up being so much fun. I did meet a lot of followers, especially from TikTok, which were so cool that people came up to me and said, hey, you're Bianca, wait, I'm excited to meet you. And I was like, wait, no, I'm excited to meet you. And of course, as you guys couldn't tell already, I did lose my voice from this entire weekend and the weekend following when we were in North Carolina. So of course, make sure you're subscribed to follow all of these emo night vlogs and all of these travel adventures that we are doing together. And the path of those people really work, but um, the show started I was very anxious. I actually feel I'm getting better as the music progresses and goes on, but I was like getting like, I felt weird here in Tampa and I thought I was going to feel really good. Jordan feels the same way as me, so I'm just like crossing my fingers. It's not Tampa and it's just something in the air. <laughs> we had a lot of curveballs thrown at us this weekend already, so like we're excited to tackle them and I'm just excited for the show to continue. Everyone looks like they're having fun, so... I really just fed off of everyone's energy. As you could see, the place was packed. I think there was like about a thousand people. I can't really remember or recall. It's really hard to tell how many people are in a room when you're actually just looking at so many people. It's just insanely hard to gauge. But Jordan had so much fun. The special guest named Skate, if you guys know who he is, had so much fun. All right, guys, it's been a wild night, a wild excursion. It is the total following next night from probably the last time that I vlogged. Last night's show was really fun, really crazy. There was really no room to vlog in the situation, but it was really fun. I danced on stage for like the last half hour, probably, and it was really fun. The stage was so tall, so it was like, I felt like, like a bird in a birdcage kind of moment. I was like, all right. I'm just fucking vibing with everybody, but we are in West Palm Beach now, whole point. <laughs> Currently right now we're in Rosemary Square. We just picked up some food. The venue that Jordan is playing tonight is up on Clematis Street called Respectables or Respectables Street. If you guys kind of are familiar with the vlogs on my channel, my mom lives here. So I'm very used to this area. This is like second home to me. I know exactly where I am. I'm sitting outside of a Publix right now. Jordan has to run in to get more balloons. We actually ran out of uh, balloons last night. It was like the final balloon. So for tonight's show, we need some more. So we're just gonna get some fill in the void um, now we don't have them oh no he just walked out with no balloons so we're gonna have to go figure that out Beach. Yesterday was so crazy and so fun. I had such a good time. I'm gonna be posting like short, short, one minute, fast paced vlogs on my TikTok of this Florida weekender. Definitely go on my TikTok and watch them. There's gonna be like one per day of like each day, each city in Florida. We're in the rental car. We just ate breakfast at Howley's. So fucking good. I'm so full now. We really didn't eat yesterday. So that was so much needed. We're about to go return the rental car. Uber to my mom's because my sister is from yesterday. <laughs> Now this vlog is totally ending here, but don't worry, there's lots more beach where that came from. I'm so excited to film for you guys this week. We go thrifting, we go to the farm, we even go and sit in coffee shops. We have a really relaxing and productive week in preparation for going to North Carolina. Make sure you are subscribed so you could stay in tune with where the next adventure leads us all. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.